Murray McLaughlin. The Uyghur people of Central Asia became world news this year when violent clashes with Han Chinese left hundreds dead. Ethnic tensions are still rife 60 years after the Uyghur homeland was incorporated into China. Yet one popular Chinese rock band is showing that harmony can exist between the two groups. Ascar Grey Wolf is on its first Australian tour, as Rebecca Bailey reports. If you can imagine, you know, Led Zeppelin and, uh, you know, someone from, you know, Saudi Arabia and someone from Iran, someone from India and, you know, someone from Africa and France and what have they all gone into a big bar fight, but they were playing music. That's what it sounds like. Oscar Grey Wolf are pioneers of Chinese rock and roll and have even cracked the country's top ten. Based in Beijing, the band is a mix of ethnic minority Uyghurs and majority Han Chinese. Their music blends East with West. The band's frontman, Askar Mamat, is a Uyghur. When I was around 15 to 16 years old, I heard something from Michael Jackson, and this was definitely the start of China catching up to Western music. I don't know why it's taken us so long to get them to Australia. Uh, they've even supported the three tenors at the Forbidden City in Beijing. Despite Australia's tense relationship with China over the past few months, Asghar Grey Wolf's tour has been endorsed at the highest diplomatic levels. Australia's ambassador to China, Dr Jeff Raby, is a fan, joining Chinese consular officials at a private reception at New South Wales State Parliament. At the moment, of course, uh, the relationship between Australia and China had difficulties. Uh, but that is because or due to a lack of understanding. A uh, lack of understanding of each other's culture. While Asghar Grey Wolf's Australian tour wraps up this weekend, the band will continue to spread its global message through the international language of rock. I use my music to represent the meaning of peace.
我抓紧。